In this video, I will be comparing GetResponse versus Tiny Email. Which one is the better email marketing tool for you? I will be breaking down both of its features, the pricing, and I will show you which one is the best for you based on your needs. So let's just jump right in and get started with GetResponse. GetResponse is great for email marketing and email marketing automation. It has a bunch of cool features in there. You can easily grow your list. You can automatically engage with your emails and you can use it to promote and sell everything from your store. Within GetResponse, you have some great features such as autoresponders. This will automatically let you send an email or do an action based on the action that your subscriber or your viewers take. So for example, I signed up for a newsletter, then you automatically get a response. You also have some very good automations in GetResponse. The workflows that they've built for you, they are all ready to use and yeah, you should definitely try them out. Besides this, they have an AI email generator. This will help you write your emails. It will help you with the marketing of your emails. And overall, it's pretty good. It is GPT powered. So yeah, you should definitely try this out if you want to use GetResponse. What I also like about GetResponse is that they have A-B testing available to optimize for the best results. What I also really like about GetResponse is that they have A-B testing integrated. This will allow you to test different headlines, for example, if you have a headline with variant A and you have a headline with variant B, then you can test which headline is performing better or which newsletter or anything that you'd like, you can A-B test that in GetResponse. Overall, these features are pretty great and let's see what the best features are of Tiny Email. So Tiny Email also heavily invested into AI. They have AI integrated in their email marketing system. So now you can have AI powered messaging and they've also given it a pretty fun name. They named it Tiny Einstein. So what I really like about Tiny Mail is that they really focus on simplicity. They have an overall clear design. I really like the style that they have on their website. And I also like the inside of the dashboard. If we head over to their dashboard, then you can see like creating campaign can be really easy. But also if we go through the dashboard, then we can see that everything is organized very neatly. You can find anything that you need and you can create your campaigns very, very fast. So let's compare the pricing of each of those tools. I must say the pricing of GetResponse is placed for me in euros and the pricing of Tiny Email is placed in dollars. So that's the difference that we have to work with right now. But you can get started with a free plan and that will cost you zero dollars a month. You can also start with the email marketing plan that will be $16 a month. And for that, you get the AI email generator, unlimited newsletters, autoresponders, the AI campaign generator, and website and landing pages, and also sign up forms and pop ups. If you want to upgrade to their most popular plan, then you need to upgrade to the marketing automation. This will be $54 a month, like roughly $60 a month. And yeah, this will allow you to get more sales funnels. They will have advanced segmentation and it will also have more marketing automation integrated in this tool. And lastly, if you want to unlock all features, then you have to go with the e-commerce marketing plan. This is for bigger businesses. Um, this will allow you to get like a banded card recovery. So they will send you a email if you've left your card. And yeah, this one is for like the big ballers, like the big businesses. I would suggest using this plan. So let's compare this to Tiny Email. With Tiny Email, you can get started for free as well. You also have a free plan. However, there's a catch to it. When you sign up for the free plan, then they want you to include your credit cards and they will put you automatically on the pro plan. So if you don't want that, then you need to downgrade to the standard plan and this will cost you $15 a month. But yeah, you need to go through a seven day free trial essentially of the pro or the standard plan. And after that trial, you can downgrade to the free plan. So so they will give you first all the features and then once you've tried out all the features, then they strip it away from you when you want to downgrade to the free plan. With GetResponse, you don't have that. You have a dedicated free plan. You don't have to include your credit card details. You can get started with the free plan right away. With GetResponse, you can get started with the free plan and you also have a free trial on their premium plans. So let's quickly discuss the pricing plans of Tiny Email. We have the standard plan that will be $15 a month. And then you have like six premium templates. You can get custom modules. You can use 45 AI subject line assistant. You can use the AI subject line assistant for 45 times a day. And you have limited senders and limited segments. So if you want to avoid that, then you have to go with the pro plan. And this will give you basically everything that you will need. And otherwise, if you are a big business again, 
then you can go with the enterprise plan, which will be a custom cost for you. So let's compare the templates and the way you design your emails in both platforms. On GetResponse, you have a lot of templates available. Just look through this. You have like a whole lot available for you and you can choose the one that you like. For example, let's say we like this one. We can click on use template. And now we have this very easy customizable feature. We can change the image source. We can also change the text and you can also drag and drop like basic blocks in there. For example, if you want to have an image right here, then you drag it over there Then you can import your image and then boom, your template is edited. So this works very, very easy on GetResponse. I really like the design. I really like the way you can customize it and also the templates are pretty good. If we compare that to Tiny Email, you have a lot of templates available. They have a library of like 311 templates ready for you to use. And they're all like designer templates. So they have one of the largest libraries of custom email templates that you can use. And I must say, I really like their design. You can search for some, you can filter on anything that you'd like. And now if you like what you see, then you click on it, you click on use. And now you have a similar block style drag and drop change thing as you have in GetResponse. So this works very similar. Let me just show you the difference. The design of GetResponse, I like it a bit more compared to Tiny Email. Yeah, it both is essentially the same. The design is a little bit different and the appearance is also a little bit different. So that's just for you, for your preferences. Let's compare the integrations. Integrations are very important for if you want to scale your business and if you want to integrate it with the platforms that you use. So if you have specific platforms, for example, let's say Shopify, let's say HubSpot, let's say Salesforce, if you want to connect them through your email marketing tool, then you need to have an integration with that tool. And at GetResponse, you have a lot of integrations available. You have all of these integrations, you can all connect them. You have PayPal, you have Salesforce, Stripe, Slack, Square, Twitter, anything that you'd like. With Tiny Email, you have a little bit less integrations compared to GetResponse. So in Tiny Email, these are the integrations that you have. And yes, with Tiny Email, you have less integrations compared to GetResponse. However, with both tools, you have Zapier as an integration that you can use. They have both, you can connect your Zapier account in there and then you can use all the integrations through Zapier. You can also use within GetResponse the API and you can also have custom apps, custom connected apps, anything that you'd like, you can build it within GetResponse. So GetResponse wins on this part in my opinion. So let me sum up the pros and cons of each platform. For GetResponse, the pros are, it has an extensive feature set, it has advanced automation capabilities, it has outstanding delivery rates and a wide range of integrations. The cons of GetResponse are that it has a higher pricing plan for larger subscriber base. The, it has a steeper learning curve for beginners. Um, so that might be a downside if you're getting started. Pros of Tiny Email is that it is pretty affordable in terms of pricing. The design is very simple and it has an intuitive interface. It has unlimited emails for up to 5,000 subscribers. And the downsides of using Tiny Email are as followed. It has a limited feature set compared to GetResponse and it has fewer integration options. Both GetResponse and Tiny Email are a good option for your business if you're looking for a marketing automation tool. However, there is one more option that I want to share with you and that is called EngageBay. EngageBay is the most affordable option out of all of these tools. And if you want to get started, you can get started for free. You can try it out yourself and then you can be the judge on which tool is the best. So if you're looking for an all-in-one solution for your small business, then EngagePay might be the most affordable option for you. I would say try out EngagePay for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Let me know what should be improved. And then I will see you in the next video.